All right, one of the misconceptions um, that students often have about why we have seasons is the idea that, let's see, let's do it this way, the, the idea that the Earth um, gets warmer when it's closer to the sun and is colder when it's further away from the sun. And let's you know, assume that that's our sun, and let's make an orbit like this. And so you can see that the Earth would be closer here, <clears throat> and the Earth would be further away here. And so the assumption is that this would be, you know, winter, and this would be, you know, summer. But that just really isn't the case. And um, if, if this was the situation, <clears throat> then the entire Earth, Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere, would be much colder during this time of year, and the entire Earth would be much warmer during this time of year. And that's, that's simply not the case. Um, so what actually is the cause of it, let me see if I can move this down, is the Earth's tilt. And so let me draw another sun. Whoops, let's make the sun yellow. All right, so let's draw another sun. Kind of a big one. Okay, looks like an egg a little bit. And then we'll draw an Earth with its tilt, kind of like that. All right, and the actual cause of summer and winter and the seasons on Earth is the tilt of the Earth. So if we look at this diagram here, right now the northern hemisphere is tilted you know, toward, toward the sun. And so when the sun rays strike the Earth, the northern hemisphere is going to get a much stronger impact from the sun than the southern hemisphere. All right, so if you look at that southern hemisphere, it's you know, pointing away from the sun. So in this situation, the northern hemisphere would be in summer, two M's in summer, and the southern hemisphere would be in its winter. Okay, and then you know, as the as the Earth travels over to the other side, okay, the tilt will be the same. So I'll draw Earth again, and the tilt isn't going to change. The tilt is going to be the same, like that. And so now the southern hemisphere, let me get my yellow, the southern hemisphere is going to receive more direct sun, and the northern hemisphere is going to receive far less direct sun. So when it's pointing away, when you know the Earth is tilted away, then this would be winter for the people in the northern hemisphere, and then summer for the people in the southern hemisphere. All right, and I'm going to scroll down one more, just to show you one more, point out one more thing. And so let's say we have our sun again. I think I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. Let's say we have our sun again, and our Earth, and give it the its equator. Well, that's a little bit too much of a tilt. Let's tilt it like so. All right, so there's our tilt. All right, now imagine all our sunlight striking, you know, heading that way. Well, it kind of makes sense that what you would have is half the Earth in shade and half the Earth in sunlight. So if I just split this, the Earth in half, something like that, it should be obvious to you that this side of the earth would be in shade, in darkness. So this would be um, the earth at night. Okay? And then over here, that would be the earth during during the daytime. Let me fix that a little bit. Alright, bad arrow. And that would be during the daytime. Now, I want you to notice two places. Here, at the top of the axis, We'll call it the North Pole. And then here, at the bottom of the axis, 
and you know we'll assume that that's near the south pole and if you notice that as the earth is going to rotate if I can get maybe another color as the earth is going to rotate like that spin around it's going to spin around this direction and this area up north will always be in the sun and then this area at the south will always be in darkness so there are actual times of the year where the North Pole, the northern areas up by the North Pole, and the southern areas down by the South Pole will stay in con continual darkness during the wintertime or in continual um, light in the summertime. The sun never, you know, sets, sets all the way and, or the sun, you know, never completely appears. Um, so that's kind of an odd thing and something that you might want to remember. So the reason for the seasons, reason for the seasons is the tilt. All right, thanks for watching.